Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make a very simple chronometer using a timer in C Sharp. Uh, the timer basically is a thread, a separate thread from the main the main code, so it's quite easy to do. Let's get started. I'll just add some text boxes to the form. Change the text, the font size. Just to make it look nice, and I will set the text aligned to the center. And I'm going to duplicate this, and then again. And I need to rename this to hour. The second one to minute, and the third one to second. Sorry about that. I'm just going to center this up here and resize the form. Now we'll add the timer to the form, uh, enable it, and set the interval to a thousand, which this is in, which is in milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is a second. And you can just double-click the timer, and it will automatically generate the event to you for you and uh, right here we need to get uh, our current second value so int second int equals convert uh, to int 32 and we will get our second which is our text box dot text I am converting this to Win32 because the text uh, property of the second of the text box is a string, so I need to convert it to int because our variable is an integer. So now we will need to check if our second int is less than 59. If it is, we'll do something. If it's not, we'll do something else. If second int is less than 59, then I need to say that the second dot text equals second int plus one. So that's this gives me an error because I cannot put an int into a string, so I just need to convert this. Convert that to string and put the second int plus one inside it. So this is actually just increasing it and setting it to the text box from the second text box else I'll say that second dot text equals zero so if it isn't 59 is because it's going to be 60 so we need to set it to zero if I run this right now it should be working already which it is. Now, the minute is every time, of course, the second uh, gets to 60, which is actually, yeah, 60. <laughs> so, what I need to do is I'll just copy this text and I'll set this and I'll paste this inside the else of the first code. And I just just need to rename this to minute minute int minute dot text, and I'll just copy this. Now what this is doing is every time the second gets to sixty, it will run this. So we just need to do this again. We just copy this. And we throw it inside the else from of the minute, and this is going to be the hour. You should always write your code, but I'm lazy, so hour, hour, hour. Now there there aren't sixty 
hours in the day is just 24 so this is going to be 23 if it's not 23 it's going to be 24 then it's going to the else and that should be it now I want to test this so I won't wait 24 hours I'll just increase the actually let's make something interesting let's add a trackbar make it a little bit more fun to do the minimum one is going to be one and the maximum one is going to be at 1000 uh, or change 100 something like that if I click double click the trackbar it will automatically generate our main event which is the scroll and here I'll say that the timer dot interval equals trackbar dot value and uh, before we run it I need to set the value to a thousand I don't need to it's just better to and change the uh, right to left I will say yes and if I run it now it should be working quite easily and if I want to increase the speed of the chronometer I just let's just decrease it a little bit to see if it's alright so it should go to 59 and then to 0 and increase the minutes and it will do exactly the same thing to the hour except the hour will only go up to 24 then it's going to 0 again so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions just comment down below and that's it see ya